Today we're looking at a set of 12 stars. That means there's a total of 12 stars up here, and I want to just find one third of them. So if we think about one third of anything, you're cutting it into thirds. And how many parts is thirds? I want you to think. Thirds. Hmm. Give me an answer. T Dog? Three. Three. Thirds is three parts. So I'm taking 12 and I'm really going to divide it into three equal parts. That's what thirds means. So understanding this, I should be able to see where if this was one whole, I could still keep it and cut it into thirds and have one, two, three thirds. That's what three thirds of 12 would be all of them. But I don't have three thirds. I only have a fraction of this. So if I was gonna highlight one third, how many stars would that be? If I wanted to highlight one third of my stars. Ava? Four. I'm gonna highlight these four. Understanding that this here is one third of my set. Well, four is smaller than 12. And that's okay. Because you know that four is a part of 12. So if that makes sense, we should be able to say, all I'm doing is I'm breaking 12 into three equal groups. And in each group, there's four stars. So how would that change if I now ask for two thirds? What would that be? I would have how many parts? Elliot? Eight. I would have now eight stars, because I'm now going to highlight or shade in two groups of four, which two groups of four is no longer just that. It would be eight. Two-thirds of 12 is eight. So we still are breaking this down into three equal pieces, and then we're multiplying it by the number of parts. This is one strategy. Another strategy is to look at this, and now I still have a total of 12, but if I ask for this fraction, 1 fourth of 12, we're now cutting these 12 stars into how many groups? How many groups are we going to break these stars into? Chloe? Four. We're going to divide this into four groups. So we should be able to see if I cut these into four equal groups, how many stars are in one group? Sure? Three. Three. So we have three stars in one group, which one fourth of 12 is less than one third of 12 because one fourth is a smaller fraction. So we should be able to understand one fourth of 12 is three. But what would then this answer be? If I ask for three fourths of twelve, three fourths. Lucas, you would have nine. You'd have to shade in three equal parts, all worth three. Twelve divided by four is three. Three groups of three, because that's what this is telling me. One, two, three groups of three is worth. Nine, it's still less than the whole. So thinking about it this way is one strategy. Another strategy is if I was going to just think of a fraction of a set, and I'm gonna say my set, I wanna know what one eighth of 24 would be. Well, 24 is split into how many parts? Based on this equation, 24 is going to be split into queen? Eight. eight equal groups. I want to know how are eights and 24s, how did they change? How did I change eights into 24s? Hmm. Let's use our math facts. What do we know? Three. 
times 3. So if I have 1 out of 8, how many out of 24 would that be? Does anybody have any idea? Elliot? Um, 3. It would be 3, because what I do to the denominator, I would also do to the numerator. So 1 8 is the same as 3 24. So 1 8 of 24 is 3. It would be 3 objects or whatever we're talking about. If this makes sense, we're just finding what these are called are equivalent fractions. This is one way to look at them. So let's try one more. 6 sevenths of 35. Hmm. I'm taking 35 as my set of numbers. What am I going to do? That's one thing we can Antonio? Divided by 5. Divided into 5 parts. Divide by 7, you get 5 parts. So what's our answer? Hmm. Allison? 30. Our answer is 30, because each piece is worth 5. We have 6 parts. The answer is 30. Another way, 6 sevenths is the same as how many out of 35? 30, because how did 7 change to 35? Times 5. So what did we do to the 6? Times 5. These are equivalent fractions, and this is my answer. Cut.